is ordinary until you see the core side of it. And what you're looking for is a story behind the news. We bring it to you from Lagos, the commercial capital of Nigeria. Giving you all sides and political stories round the clock. Every detail from the start line to the final whistle. Core TV News, expanding your view. We apologize for coming behind and schedule. This is election evening. Thank you for joining us on Court TV Primetime News. I am Frank Omalape. Our top stories tonight. President Jonathan and his main opponent in the presidential elections, Muhammad Buhari, vote in the presidential election. And also in this program, challenges and delay greet presidential and national assembly elections nationwide. And the Independent National Electoral Commission shift elections in areas where there are challenges till Sunday to conclude voting process. And outside Nigeria and our co-pilot of the crashed German wings aircraft boasted about his future fame to his girlfriend. And now the details. President Golok Jonathan joins other Nigerians in exercising his civic rights of voting in the 2015 presidential election by voting in company of his wife and other members of his family in Otoki, his Bayosa state hometown. The president and members of his family initially experienced hiccups in getting accredited with the failure of the smart card reader for the polling unit to read or even recognize his own card or that of anybody. The president left after waiting for over 25 minutes for accreditation, but some minutes after 11 a.m. he came back and finally got accredited with his wife and other members of his family. He has since voted in company of his wife, patients, and other members of his family. The president, after the initial challenge encountered in his accreditation, however, called on Nigerians to be patient in the face of challenges in voting process. He added that if he can experience the challenges and be patient, all Nigerians should also exercise patience with high neck officials to sort out any challenges in the process. And now with the commencement of voting in the first phase of the 2015 general elections, presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, General Muhammad Buhari, has voted in the ongoing presidential and national assembly elections. The APC candidate arrived at the polling center at exactly 4.48 p.m., accompanied by supporters. Buhari voted at his Daura country home at about 4.50 p.m. and expressed delight at the massive voters' turnout. And now the Independent National Electoral Commission has extended voting in the presidential election to Sunday in areas where the voting process ran into major technical issues. It has directed all resident electoral commissioners to prepare to conduct election in polling units where there were hitches across the country. Chairman of INEX Committee on Information and Voters Education, Chris Yumoga, said this at a news conference in Abuja. It was emphatic that with the type of hitches identified in some places, the election could not be concluded on Saturday. The annex spokesman could not say the exact number of affected states, but was sure that the extension would not be in all 36 states and the FCT. Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission has launched an investigation into the veracity of a picture of an underage child going through the process of accreditation. The picture, which you uh, seen on air, went viral some hours ago after it was posted online by a blogger, Chukudi Iwu Chuku. He claimed it was from Taraba State. In response, Anek through its Twitter feed sought more information on where exactly the picture was taken. The blogger later tweeted through at Chukudi11985 that the incident took place at Fulani Market Unit Abari Award in the Lao Lao local government area of Torreva State. And now the website of the Independent National Electric Commission hacked on Saturday morning during the accreditation exercise for Nigeria's presidential and parliamentary elections has been restored at about 11.30 a.m. when it discovered what that www.inekinigeria.org had been hacked. The following was on display on the website, and I quote, 
Sorry, XD, your site has been stamped by Team Nigeria Cyber Army. Feel some shame, admin. Security is just an illusion. Remember, U.S., the greetings of peace to citizens of Nigeria from Team NCA Nigerians. Nobody can give you freedom. Nobody can give you equality or justice. If you're a man or woman, you take it. It's 2015 elections and we are here again, but this time in a different form. APC claim they hack into INEC database, but we own the database long before now. So no worries, no fear to all Nigerians. Go and cast your vote and we assure you that your vote must come because we are the kings of the Nigerian cyber space. End of quote. The electoral body on the Twitter handle at INEC Nigeria confirmed the hacking, adding that it was working to ratify the situation. However, further checks on the INEC website at about 12.15 p.m. reveals that the website was back live and that maintenance work was ongoing. And now the electoral process was largely hit free in some part of Mpapi, a suburb of Abuja, in spite of the late arrival of electoral materials. Voting began at about 2 p.m. in the Mpapi and San reporting unit in the heart of one of the densely populated parts of Abuja amid tight security. The situation was the same at a local school which houses at least six polling units. One of the first voters in Mpapi is this fire victim who was keen on voting in spite of his condition. I get my rights. Where you get your rights? Yes. That's why you... That's why you I know come come out, your that's why I know hmm. Yes, that's why. So you came... I came to get my rights at work. So I did get this accident. Where did you go? For where? For where? For where? For how? Gen. Generator? Yes. No light. Every time, no light. Never no light. Hmm. That's why they use gen. That's the small thing like that. By the directives given, I was here at 7.25. I waited. Even though we started late a little bit, um, about 10 o'clock. The presentation was done and it was quite fast. The machine did not mess up. The people behaved themselves orderly. And um, now um, the actual voting for the women, I was the second person that voted. I say it's calm, you know, compared to all the hype of how it's going to be a do or die affair. I don't know what they're doing in other places, but here, where I've just cast my vote, it's peaceful, as you can also observe. This one is more peaceful also. And the same thing, last year one was peaceful, but the problem later on, the problem later came. But I believe that uh, this one also, we got everything in peace. Also. I pray for my country, Nigeria, and that God should help us, because God has blessed us already. We're not supposed to be fighting each other. Who say that God's God wants him to be our president, let him be. I voted there is a light in everything. Every new beginning must have challenges. So to me, I, uh, the INEC has tried their best, but the best is not good enough. But that notwithstanding, we must appreciate their effort for making the election to even hope. And then we are voting. So no matter the starting time, the election has taken place. Were you accredited with the card reader, sir? I was. It was accredited? Less than, less than 45 minutes. I mean, 45 seconds. So compared to the 2011 election, sir, what can you say? There's a, a big improvement. Okay, sir. With the latest uh, arrangement, is a big improvement. And now the chief electoral officer in the FCT has blamed the delay in commencement of accreditation in Abuja on logistics challenge. Professor Jacob Jatawal explained to Court TV News that his men were having problems moving electoral materials that were sent to registration areas on Friday night to polling unit. He also spoke on other issues relating to Saturday's presidential election in the Federal Capital Territory. We have 562 polling units. Uh, however, as you mentioned, it's not only the card readers are not going to be limited to those polling units. We are also going to give them at the voting points. Yes, and we, in, 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 in addition to the polling units, we have uh, 1,324 voting points. 1,324 voting points. So if you add everything together, it's about 1,886. Yes. So we are going to deploy card readers to all these places. I noticed just now that um, materials have not gotten to Ashikuru. What could be happening? Yes, I just, I just mentioned that. That's what I mentioned now. 
that uh, we are making uh, efforts to move the material to the polling units now. We, yesterday, they were taken to the registration area center. Yes, we have maybe slight problems with transportation, but we are making efforts to take them now. So I don't know exact places that we have not reached yet. Yes, maybe that's why you are mentioning this now. I'm about to go out also to, to the field. And our national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu, has lamented the delay witnessed in the election process during the presidential and national assembly elections in Lagos and other parts of Nigeria. He made his known while speaking to newsmen after casting his vote at the Sunday at the Gui area of Ikeja, Lagos. Bolu Adebisi's report on the voting process in Ikeja area is presented from our studios. The APC's national leader will arrive at the polling unit some minutes to 10 in the morning for accreditation after the exercise of his civic duty. Disclosed that he is worried about the delay in the voting process, not only in his own polling unit, but in all parts of Lagos. He added that the delay is suspicious, vowing to challenge the election before a court of competent jurisdiction if the overall process is not credible. I think that is a collusion between the institution and the government in power. Now, I will have to consult with my party. We yeah. will all do and then, you know, challenge in court. We will still appeal to people not to resort to violence. On the circulation of a text message purporting to direct his followers and that of his party to vote for Good Luck Jonathan, the APC leader reacted this way. I didn't send any text message. That is part of the gimmick and the desperation of uh, the ruling party when they pack a lot of fraudulent people in office, try to sabotage uh, the right of uh, people to freely exercise uh, their civic right, uh, duty. Again, that is fraudulent. I didn't authorize any network to do it. However, urged the supporters of his party and all Nigerians to remain calm and avoid violence, but to insist that the due process as stipulated by INEC is adhered to. Just to watching in Call TV primetime news after this break, we will bring you more reports on the elections from all the regions of Nigeria. Stay with us. We must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. Martin Luther King Jr. You're still watching Court TV primetime news. If he's just joined us, here is a quick reminder of our top stories. President Jonathan and his main opponent in the presidential elections, Muhammad Buhari, votes in the presidential election. And challenges and delay greet presidential and national assembly elections nationwide. And the Independent National Electoral Commission shift elections in areas where there are challenges till Sunday to conclude voting process. 
Thank you for being there. You can also reach us on our social media platforms like our Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Court TV News. You can also follow at Court TV News NG. And for live streaming, log on to youtube.com forward slash Court TV. Give a space their news. And now, while exercising his franchise, former President Lu Shegun Obasanjo has expressed satisfaction with the voting process and opines that this election will solidify and enhance the democratization of the nation. And now, on his part, the senior special assistant to the president of media, Dunyo Kukwe, who is also an indigenous of Iqbal Remo, says despite the challenges and delay faced by himself and other voters as a result of the hiccups of the card reader, it is still a technology that can come with a lot of casualties. Uh, furthermore, the police DIG South West expressed satisfaction at the orderliness in the state and its environs. Also, no, his appraisal of the exercise, the state resident elector commissioner, uh, talking about Sami Bitu, he speak on why the card readers might have caused some delay in some polling units. Uh, moving away from that now, voters in Southwest have trooped out MRs to exercise their civic duties despite the downpour in some parts of the region and the challenges experienced in the voting process. Uh, Court TV News presents this update on the situation in Lagos, Ogun, Oyo, Hoshu, Ondo, and Ekiti State. The report. This is the scenario in the Apple area of Lagos State as a town crier was also brought into the service to get the people in the area to come out and vote. <laughs> Going to other places in Lagos, many complained about the failure of the card reader or delay in the voting process. We believe we should have seen a senior officer of uh, INEC to come and explain to us what is actually going on and what effort they are putting in place to make this work the way it's supposed to work. I'm not calling for the cancellation of the election, but what the authority told us is that you are going to use card reader. Anything short of card reader, there is no election. No election. I don't know that I could postpone it because I have my limit. The sun is too much of me. So if I stay at 1.30, nothing happens, I'll go. I'm not feeling too fine. The fact is this. Jega should have allowed this to go without card reader. By doing that, we would have voted by now, or even if we have not started voting, everybody must have been accredited. Then, subsequent elections in state level, um, House of Assembly elections, you can try the card reader and see if it can do it nation, uh, nationwide. But for these voters in Oyo, all seems normal. The INEC official did not get here until 9.30. Um, uh, so, that's number one. The second one, was that uh, out of the two okay. cadre okay. one right. started immediately but the the, the other one uh, had a little uh, issue so but in, in five ten minutes later everything i think it's a good development it doesn't take time i think i spent only about 30 seconds to authenticate my uh, um, I think got print and all that. So the other um, card reader is actually working fine. But the one with us in our own voting point, it's not like it's not working. It's working, it's actually reading. But presently, he's not detecting the fingerprint. So uh, I've spoken with the uh, SPO now. He'll be here and rectify it. It's a small issue. For the Ogun, Lagos and Oyo State Governor, the situation is still too early to either applaud or condemn. Participate to make the right choices because they are the present and the future will be determined by the people and the people they choose. So if they want progress in this state and in Nigeria, they must choose right. What we want in terms of peace, we will define it by our presence. If the majority of Nigerians want a peaceful election, no people in the minority can stop that process. That was my message two days ago. It's my message today that the minority can't decide how our elections will be. The majority of Nigerians want peaceful elections, 
And so far in this unit, the majority has shown that their will will prevail. Why the governors are not committed, these governorship candidates have this to say about the process. I want to strongly appeal to INEC that you know they should be responsive enough and, and see where those uh, errors are or where, where those hitches are and then they, they should respond quickly. You, they, it's either they extend the time of voting or they just ensure that those people that have been disenfranchised are actually put in proper place. That is democracy. We can only continue to work at it, uh, hoping that things will get better. Um, we hope that lessons have been learned or are being learned at this particular exercise and that the, the, the subsequent, the April 11th, will be even better. All in all, while the voting has gone on peacefully, the delays have led to a shift of the election by a day to accommodate the areas where voting did not take place, after which the result will come for the anxious voters in the region. And now in the south-south region, where the incumbent president, Golok Jonathan, hails from, it's been a misgrid with reports of violence in parts of River State. Uh, Court TV News presents an update on these happenings in the region. In Bayosa, where the president hails from, the hiccups and challenges started from the president's own polling unit with the card reader failing to recognize the card of the president and members of his family. After the initial challenge, the president later came back for accreditation and later voted. Report has it that the process went smoothly without violence in the state. This, however, was not the case in River State where the convoy of core members and election materials escorted by armed soldiers and mobile policemen allegedly came under gun attack in Equerin in River State. Elections are said to have been put on hold due to the violence, while the situation in Delta State is not too different, with elections halted in some parts of the state due to the violence. In Akwaibon, violence was also reported, while the issue of delay and logistics also came to the fore. In Edo State, though the situation went largely without incident, State Governor Adam Sushomle complained about intimidation by the PDP and a car gift from Works Minister Michael Nolamemen. As the 2015 general elections commence with the presidential and national assembly polls, the electorate across the Nigeria, particularly in the northern part of the country, trooped out to exercise their franchise. We now take a look, a closer look now at how the people are participating in the long-awaited uh, polls. Well, we'll bring you a direct report in a subsequent bulletins. Now, the card reader deployed at Mara. Uh, Machara Mpu Ward 10 in Aniri local government area of Enugu State failed to uh, credit the Deputy Senate President E.K. Ekwarimadu and his wife. The device, however, recognized the permanent voter cards even though the fingerprint authentication process failed in spite of several attempts. Speaking after the exercise, the Deputy Senate President expressed concern over the incident. He blamed the situation on the reluctance of the INEC leadership to listen to advice uh, they felt was born out of partisanship. Senator Kwerebado recalled that the People's Democratic Party was skeptical about the issue of the device because it had not been tried before on a large scale. He therefore urged the INEC to discard the card reader and use it only in subsequent elections after it had been tried and perfected. On re reported incidents of bombing in parts of southeast, including Enugu, Senator Kwerimadu decried the incident but noted that the issue will be uh, conquered. You're still watching Court TV Primetime News. We'll take another break now. We'll be back with more stories after this time out. Stay with us. The army was not supposed to be visible or to be around any polling unit unless there is a breakdown of law and order and they have been invited by the Inspector General of Police. That elections are shouted in Africa is no news. But in Nigeria, it comes with consequences. Against the will of one man. Consequences that have toggled the nation's politics and may shape how Nigeria elects. This is the year of PGP.
the momentum gathers. When we promise, we deliver. The fireworks is unending. We did it and continue to do it. 55 years this year, and in the fourth republic, this is Nigeria's fifth general elections. All the action, all the news, the updates, and the news behind the news, we will bring to you live from the field and in the studio on Core TV News as Nigeria elects. And on in sports tonight, Italy coach Antonio Conte received death threats following an injury to Juventus Claudio Marchisio. The president of the Italian Football Federation has revealed the midfielder was suspected to have ruptured his new ligament as he trained for Saturday evening's Euro 2016 qualifier against Bulgaria. Juventus have since confirmed the 29-year-old which has not done his ligament. England player Italy in a friendly in turn on Tuesday. Former Juventus player and manager Conte said Marchisio injured himself in a training uh, warm-up. And now two goals from Gareth Bailey, uh, Bali, and another from Aaron Ramsey gave Wales an emphatic 3-0 win over host Israel and took them to the top of Euro 2016 qualifying group uh, B on Saturday. The Welsh looking for a place in major finals for the first time since 1958 knocked Israel from the top of the group and they have 11 points from five matches. Israel are second at least until Belgium play in Cyprus later. As new midfielder Ramsin put Wales ahead second before half time. Israel were reduced to 10 men when defender Aiton TB was showing a second yellow card for bringing down about it as he was huddling goalwards, but Bell added his second in the 77 minutes as he ran into the area, sweeping a low uh, cross. And away from that, now Hot City have been fined 30,000 euro by the Football Association for failing to control their players in March. 14 stormy Premier League goalers draw with bottom side Leicester. City initially denied the charge but was on Friday found guilty of failing to ensure its players conducted themselves in an orderly fashion. The incident was brought about the reaction of a number of hot players after Alice Bruce was booked by referee John Mose following a tackle. On Riyad Mahrez. The findings are something of an embarrassment for Hull, whose manager Steve Bruce criticized the Leicester players for their conduct during the Navy 0 0 draw. And outside Nigeria now, a former girlfriend of the co pilot will crash an airliner in the French Alps, is quoted uh, to uh, telling German newspaper Bill that Andres Lubitz could be aggressive. The woman, who was an air stewards, met the pilot through work last year. She also says if Lubis deliberately brought down the plane, it is because he understood that because of his health problems, his big dreams of a job at Lufthansa as captain and as a long-haul pilot was practically impossible. And that's it tonight. Just before we go, a recap of our top stories tonight. And now we told you that President Jonathan and his main opponent in the presidential election, Mohamed Buhari, vote in the presidential election. And challenges and delay great presidential and national assembly elections nationwide. And finally, the Independent National Electoral Commission shift elections in areas where there are challenges to Sunday to conclude voting process. And that's it on Court TV Primetime News tonight. Many thanks for watching. I am Frank Omalape. On behalf of the entire news crew, is good night from me.